Hi, this is Paula and Linda with ISOM Norwich and we are on Central Ave and we are finding painted hydrants that were done in this um, for the Greenville neighborhood revitalization back in 2015 and 2016 and this is a minion and we're gonna be going they did a good job yeah it's a great job it's cute we're gonna head down this way now yep it's a little ways down so we'll see you in about a block or two Back. Hi, so we're on the corner right now, and these are called bump outs. They were painted in 2021 to look like different national flags. This reflects the neighborhood's diversity. The bump outs also help the pedestrian safety through shortening the crosswalks. You can find them on Central Ave, 8th Street. Oh, just Central Ave and 8th. Um, you want to try to cross the street? We found another hydrant. Oh, yes. And we'll take you over and we'll see what it is. And more bump outs. Oh, look at this cool design here. Okay, this is a Norwich. There's Norwich on the top. This must be a, um, for Ellis. I'm yep. wondering if it's the Ellis family from the Norwich. And Ellis it says Ruley. Ruley. Yeah. yeah. Which is a big family in Norwich. Okay. They have a ballpark name also. What about the stars? We're at the Ellis Ruley fire hydrant. Ruley was one of the NFA's exhibition in 1952 a renowned artist and in 1990s is when he made his renowned artwork he had a mysterious death in 1959 unfortunately we just found another hydrant with one of my favorite birds the hummingbird on it and so check back with us in the, later on like in another week or so we will be posting a short video on the neighborhood hummingbirds. I think you'll really like it. Okay, see you at the next we're one. We're back again at the corner of North Main Street and 8th Street, and we're looking at this mural that Linda's gonna tell you about. So it's a blue heron painted in the summer and fall of 2016. The artist was Faith Satisfield. She painted it with 15 volunteers as part of the Greenville Revitalization Zone project. She wanted to celebrate the Greenville neighborhood's history and showcase what's there are. The dam, St. Mary's Catholic Church, and Greenville Fire Station, and the now demolished Greenville School. She added a blue heron to the mural because the bird kept visiting the volunteers during the painting. How cute is that? <laughs> that is cute. <laughs> okay, we're going to make our way back to the car. We'll see you at the next stop. Okay, this isn't really street art that we're looking for, but how cute is this? Do not dump. Drains to Chetucket River. So that is really cute. Don't know who painted it, but... The turtle's adorable. Yeah, but the turtle. Look at the close-up on this guy. <laughs> look at that. Look at that face. How cute is okay. that? So we're able to find the penguin and it's labeled Happy Feet after the movie. How cute is that? This one you'll find on the corner of 6th Street and North Main. If anybody knows where the other penguins are, please comment below and let us know. Okay, Thank you. we found the last one. So we're getting ready to cross the street. <laughs> Once the motorcycles go. Okay. And again, if you know what any of these flags are, please comment below, because we really would appreciate it. They're getting a little worn now because they were done several years ago, but it is nice to see them. Okay, we're gonna be heading back to the car and we'll, we'll join you soon. The Chestnut Street Playhouse way back in the day when I was growing up was the Chestnut Street Firehouse and we would practice our bugles and everything for the fireettes. Okay, we are back at the Chestnut Street Playhouse. 
this mural was painted by Faith Satterfield it, it, back in 2013. Um, it was actually completed in 24 hours. It was done as a fundraiser for scholarships in a building, a youth center in Greenville. As you can see, it's, it's inspired by Ezekiel uh, 47.9, which says, Swarms of living creatures will live wherever the river flows. There will be large numbers of fish because this water flows there and makes the salt water fresh. So where the river flows, everything will live. It really is a beautiful um, mural. It's too bad there's a little bit of brush going up in front of it, but it really is nice. Okay, see you at the All next right, one. So we're in Burnham Square in Norwich, Connecticut, and it's the Rose of New England mural on the side of Amazing Furniture. The mural was painted by Candice Furhati and the Norwich Rose Art Festival. Okay, we're gonna head across the street and find Bob Marley on the electrical box. Hello, visible from City Hall is the mural on 59 Broadway, painted by Carlos Skills. He intended the mural featuring butterflies to symbolize Norwich artistic transformation. It was painted as a project for the Norwich Street Art Collective, along with the mural on 163 Franklin, which we'll show you next. Uh, while we're here, We'll just zoom on over this way. And this here was the original Otis Library. Yes, it was. I used to go there, and next door I had both town classes. And next door <laughs> is the Central Baptist Church, which we pointed out to you in a um, quilt that's hanging right here in our beautiful city hall. Okay, yes. on to the next one. Jubilee Park in downtown Norwich and James Lindsay Smith and Sarah Norris Fairweather she worked the first black she was the first black student to attend the Prudence Crandall School in Canterbury 1832 James Lindsay Smith was born and enslaved on a plantation in Virginia as a small boy an accident left him lame and unable to work the fields so he trained as a shoe mower in 1838 he found a chance to escape and made his way to the Underground Railroad, which eventually brought him to Norwich, Connecticut. Okay, so we've made our way back to the town hall where our challenge to find 60 historical places started. And here's just a quick list of some of the ones we've seen so far. The landmark for the poor farm and the mental asylum, City Hall, Chelsea Parade, Yantic Cemetery, Norwich Cemetery, Norwich Town Green, the Norwich Harbor, and to see these and other videos we've done, just go to our, just subscribe to our channel and you won't miss any of the fun. We are working on bringing you more historical sites. If you have any places in Norwich you would like to see, please comment below. And as always, please like, share, and subscribe. Thank you.